record first. You guys are all being recorded. Fair warning. Be picking your noses. <laughs> and here we go with the PowerPoint. I'm going to make it nice and big. So welcome to our uh, weekly webinar. This is for everybody. Um, tonight, I wanted to do some shout outs, talk about Fixate, Size, Summit, our July calendar. And then I just want to have a discussion about hitting Success Club in the last hours of the month. Because believe it or not, you can go from zero to 12 in a day because I've done it before. So I actually, what took me the longest tonight was making this because I was like, you know what? I want to have fun with my, with my graphics. So I took our logo and I changed it into um, some 4th of July colors just because I know how to do that in Photoshop. So these are our firecrackers for this past week. Um, Michelle Schumann had over 500 volume. Emily and Lee had over 300, and Donna, Mindy, Michael, Amy, Lindsay, Kristen, and Ryan had 150 plus. Um, this past week was a little bit of a, an odd week. It was a little bit on the low side. The week before was ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow, well, probably Wednesday morning, I'm going to do a collective PV for the month to see where um, everybody was at for June. And you'll be shocked at the numbers. Um, congratulations to our success club leaders. Lindsay has 28 points for the month of June. She's on crack. I love her, but she's on crack. That's awesome. Um, Jamie is right behind. That's Deanne's new coach. So it's Jamie and then her coach is Deanne, whose coach is Kellyanne, whose coach is Amy, and Amy's my coach. So she has 24. AFAB has 16. Caitlin has 14. Emily has 12. And Bethany has 10. Those are rounding up our success club 10 people. Congratulations. You guys are all, as long as you have your own home direct and you are an Emerald coach, you are locked in to get uh, paid leads in July, which is totally awesome. Success club five plus there is Vicki, Michelle, Kristen, Kelly, and Jan and myself are all sitting at eight. So we need to sell one more challenge pack in order to get those paid leads. So I'm challenging you guys to get it done by tomorrow. Allison is sitting at seven. I know she can do it. She always pulls miracles out of her butt. I don't know how. She's amazing. Um, Kathy is, I believe, at eight because she just sold a challenge pack as well. Andy and Amanda. So just a little challenge to you guys. And the coolest part about this is check out all of those coaches that are on the board for this month. There are, and this is, by the way, in order from four down to, down to one. But, oh my gosh, there are so many challenge packs here. Um, if you add in husbands to this, Jan um, is going to have 10 for the month because her husband, Mark, she's under her husband, Mark, up, and he's not working Beachbody, so that's her selling. Um, Lee has, Jason, Jason sold some stuff. Um, so combined, it is, uh, you know, Lee is on there. Um, who else? I can't see the other ones. I'm missing some, but they're on there. So I'm just, I'm so proud of you guys. Um, Justin, so AFAB's like really at 20. Um, I'm just really proud of you guys. You guys are working really hard and it shows. It really, really shows. So coming up in July, we have two really big, three really big things going on. First of all, Fixate by Autumn is coming out. And if you need to know more about this, it's FAQ 2888, FAQ 2888. It is going to be released on Tuesday, July 14th on teambeachbody.com. So that's a Tuesday. It's going to be released. Do not look for it to be released before probably 2 o'clock Eastern time. Always when Beachbody releases something, they release it on the date they say, but it's California time. So they'll start working on it at nine o'clock in the morning, California time. And it probably won't be till 10 or 11, maybe even noon, California time. So that's three o'clock on the East coast. And they're going to have a gajillion of them at the core at summit. Um, the cost for the book is going to be 1995 us dollars, and it'll give you 14 team volume points. And it's also going to be sold the book plus the containers for $34.95 and that'll be 27 team volume points. Um, that will be, you know, those are two great things. Now, um, it's 101 recipes and they're all from Autumn. A lot of them are from her childhood that she took her favorite meals and made them into, you know, um, 21 day fix ish, um, recipes. They, it contains, um, it's the color coded container equivalents 
and the nutrition facts. So you will get a recipe and it'll tell you how many servings. And it'll say each serving is this many reds, this many blues, this many greens, this, 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 and this. Um, also, to appeal to people who are, might not be doing the 21 day fix, they might just want it as a cookbook. It also contains all the nutritional facts you need. So people are doing macros, it's all right there. Um, it is going to include, it does include gluten-free, vegan, vegetarian, and paleo recipes, which I think is awesome because those are really big deals right now, all that stuff. So that's all going on. Again, that's FAQ 2888. Um, I'll talk more about the fix eight in a minute. Um, okay, so size, the end of exercise is there's not a lot of information in the back office about this yet, but it's FAQ 2361. So FAQ 2361, it is scheduled to be released on July 20th. So guys, that's the Monday after Summit. I am not 100% sure we're going to be able to buy this sucker at Summit. It didn't say anything in the back office about it. So hopefully we'll be able to, but we might not. So it just depends. Um, the trainer, obviously Shanti, the program is only a four-week program. Okay, and the workouts between 35 and 40-ish minutes. Um, the cool thing about this is there is a live format. Now, Beachbody always does these things called the email collector. So if you have people that want to know about when size is coming, if you send them to this email, you just have to make sure to this link, you make sure you put your coach ID. So I'm going to show you what this one looks like with the 489619. I'm going to click on it maybe if it likes me. Um, Maybe it'll take me there. Who knows? Open hyperlink. There we go. So if I click on that, here we go. It's going to take me to the email collector and people that go ahead and sign up right here will be signed up with me as their coach. Okay. So be the first to find out when size is available and be entered for a chance to win it for free, which is pretty darn awesome. If you haven't seen size or know much about size, definitely take a look at it because it's a really big deal. Um, the price. Now, right now, the price of size is unknown, but I'm going to use my awesome guessing skills and I'm going to guess that it's going to debut at $140 as the challenge, as the promo challenge pack price. And I'm guessing it'll be in the 160 range. Now, normally Sean T's like Insanity and T25 is in the 205 range, but this is only a four week program. Because it's only a four week program, I'm pretty confident that it's gonna be at that lower price point. Um, because it's not extremely intense, I also think it's gonna be at that lower price point. That's my guess. I don't have any inside information, I can't you know, help you out there. I wish I did. I wish they gave me information, but they don't. Um, also for talent, for promos for next month, I can guarantee that the size challenge pack is going to be on promo starting the 20th and it probably will run through the end of August. Um, I won't know anything else until tomorrow night. Um, at like eight o'clock, they give us, they give the diamond coaches and above a four hour sneak peek. And as soon as we know, we'll let you guys know what the promos for July are. Um, so Coach Summit 2015, I want to talk to you guys just a little bit about this. I know not all of you are going, but we're going to Nashville. We're super excited about it. So here are some things that you guys, <laughs> hi buddy, <laughs> there's a window right above my computer. I'm in the basement and my son's up there waving at me. I heard a kid, sorry. <laughs> um, so why would you want to attend Summit? Well, you're going to get trainings from the top coaches, which are awesome. You're going to get to work out with the trainers. You're going to get to rub elbows with amazing people, specifically our whole team. Um, there's a really good chance you'll bump into Carl or Michael Neiman or Jeff Hill or somebody totally awesome. Um, you get to be with the team and you get to show people that you're really in it with Beachbody. You're making the commitment to be at the annual conference. So you're really in it. I remember right after I had, what buddy? I'm on the phone. I remember right after um, I had my daughter in June of 2012, I saw um, my coach at Summit 
And I was like, oh, well, she looks like she's having a lot of fun. I wonder what's going on. And I actually started to kind of stalk her. And I'll never forget typing into Google Beachbody. Being like, who names their company Beachbody? That's so stupid. Who's going to buy that stuff? Not everybody has a Beachbody. Not everybody wants a Beachbody. But it got the wheels turning. So she hadn't said anything to me. I was just, she was just a friend of mine and I was seeing her stuff. So Coach Summit will do that for you. Also, that's a pretty rock, buddy. Good job. Let me finish my call, okay? Thank you. Um, so at Summit, here's what you guys need to prep for. The size release is going to be a big deal. Fixate is going to be a big deal. I can pretty much guarantee that they're going to make an announcement for – the trend has been a September program release and a, G a December program release, but since leadership's in October this year, they might just be releasing one in December. I don't know, but I can guarantee there'll probably be a program release of some type. Um, there's going to be all kinds of huge announcements, and just watch the Team Harmony page or your uplines page, whatever page you're in, if you're in the... Um, Phoenix or Royals or whatever team page, make sure you're watching in there because we'll put, we're crazy taking pictures and posting things. Um, at Summit 2015, they'll announce where Summit 2016 is. I'm pretty sure it's going to be in Nashville again because I think we're all pretty hyped about it. Also, monetarily, you need to be prepared. If you're jealous of everybody that's going, you need to make sure that you're ready money-wise to purchase your ticket for Summit next year because they ran a special last year at Summit for $99. You could buy your ticket for this year for literally, what was it, a third of the price that they wore normally, and they sold out. They announced it on Thursday night. They went on sale Friday. They were sold out Sunday. So be prepared. And also, they're going to list some hotel reservations. So be prepared to call and just you know, have a discussion about where are we all going to stay, what are we going to do, and then we'll book the hotels so we're ready to go. Um, so does anybody have a question about general summit stuff before I move on off of this? Anyone? Anyone have anything to add? Um, summit is life changing. It really is. There's so much going on at summit. There's so many people to see. There's so many people to learn from. It's just really unreal to see everything that's going on. Any questions? No. Okay. If there are, just tell me to shut up. Okay. So I made this picture a while ago. This is our call calendar for July and I will post it in the Team Harmony page. But um, usually on Wednesdays at 1130, if we have one, there's a Diamonds and Above group. This Thursday at nine, um, we're going to have a leadership call. And then the sixth, we'll have an Emerging Leaders. The 12th, the evening of the 12th, we'll have an, a finalized summit planning call. Um, there's not going to be any call on... Good night, Pumpkin. I love you. I'm going to say hi, everybody. Go ahead. Say hi. No. Okay. I love you. Um, on the 13th, there's not going to be any call because on the 20th and 27th, we're going to do um, summit recap calls. So... Be prepared for that, and then Summit will all be there 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th. I'm going the 15th, some are going the 14th. So I will post that in the group for you guys to see. You can all see it. Um, so that's what's going on for that. Um, the rest of the month, I was just scheduling it out, and I was looking at my new calendar right here. And let me get this here. I'm going to be starting a coach training, coach basics training on the 6th of July. I'm going to be doing an eye on Emerald training on the 13th. And I'll make you guys a graphic for this as well. You don't have to scribble it all down. I'll make a graphic. I'm going to do a coaching at a glance on the 20th, as well as a 20, 21 day challenge group starting on the 20th. And then the end of the month, I'm going to be at the beach in North Carolina. Woo -hoo! I'm driving down to see y'all <laughs> in the Outer Banks where all the shark attacks are. I don't go in the ocean, so I'll be alive. 
Um, but that's what's going on for July. I just need to make a graphic for you guys. But um, how many of you are really close to hitting Success Club? Hands in the air, like super close. If you're not there yet, yeah. Okay, so I want to tell you a little bit, little story about May of 2014. May of 2014, you may have heard me talk about this before, but I. May is my crazy month. You guys know that with work, but I'm sitting at home on May 31st and I was at success club zero. I'm like, holy crap. I need to hit success club because I'm not going to lose my monthly runnings for success club five all-stars. Cause that's where I'm at. I'm at like 18, 19 months of success club all-stars. I'm almost a legend and I wasn't going to lose it. So I literally started messaging everybody and inviting to my groups and inviting, 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 inviting. And I ended the day with success club 12 because I didn't stop. I just kept going and I kept going and I kept going. And I sat at my computer. It was a Saturday. I was determined. I signed a couple coaches. I did this. I did that. I made sure that I hit success club five now. Okay, great. So why is success club such a big deal? Well, number one, if you're a recogn recognition person, you get recognized for being in success club, you get recognized for doing it consistently for 12 months, and then you get recognized consistently for 24 months. Um, when you hit success club, it means that you are bringing people into challenge groups or at, on as coaches, which means you're committed to growing your business. The way that you grow your business is by running successful challenge groups and recruiting new coaches who are going to run successful challenge groups. If you are committed to hitting Success Club 5, I promise you, give it three, four months and watch how much your business grows. Um, Allison's an all-star. Vicky is very, very close. Amanda's very, very close. Um, Caitlin, you haven't missed a month yet, have you? No, Caitlin hasn't missed a month yet. Amy, mm-hmm, 10, 10 in a row. Amy will... Yeah, we'll be all-star in September. Amy, will it be October for you or September? Uh, one of those two. Um, Bethany usually hits Success Club. Can you guys do me a favor and talk just for a minute? We'll start with Amanda because she's at the top of my screen. Just talk for like two seconds on why Success Club is so important and maybe give a tip to help people hit success club on the next to last day of the month when they're sitting at zero and they're sitting at two and they're sitting at four and everybody seems to be saying no. So Amanda, I, I'm putting them on the spot. They had no idea I was doing this. I'm sorry. I love you guys. You love me. Amanda, you're up. Um, why it's important. Just like you said, it's how I grow my business. Um, I could sell programs and help people, but I know that, Shakeology and a workout combined is what's going to give them the best results. And if I am hitting success club five every month consistently, then that means I'm helping at least three people a month consistently. Um, and that is, that's my job. That's what I want to do. So um, that measurement is just showing that I am doing what I'm supposed to do, what I said I would do. Um, my tip, <laughs> um, the last time I was really, really struggling for success club was December. And I think I did this on like December 30th or 31st. I got all my success club points in like a day or two. Um, just like you said, like I literally went through my entire messages, all of my messages as far back, like over a year back from people that I had invited before or people who had talked to me before, but didn't commit and just said, Hey, like I'm starting this up. Is there anything I can do to help you right now? Um, and I, I tried to make sure that it was focused on them and not like me making a sale, but what are your goals? What can I do to help? Would you like to join a group? Whatever. And I hit success club. I like, I like what you just said there. When you message the people, you said, hey, I'm starting a new group. I have this going on. It's the beginning of the new year. And I wanted to know if there's anything that I can do to help you because then it puts them on them and it's not like, Hey, I have a new group starting. Come join it. 
It's how can I help you? I think that's a great spin to put on it. What, what change did you see in your business when you started hitting success club consistently? My income did this. <laughs> my team did this. Um, yeah, numbers, volume grew, commissions grew, the number of coaches on my team grew, the number of referrals, my confidence. All of and anybody I, that's, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, I counted and I invited like 75 people that day. And you got I how many yeses? Had, Five, four, three, four? Um, enough to at least hit success club five. I don't remember if I got 10 that month or not. Do you guys hear that ratio? That's a crazy ratio. But even if someone says no, they're not saying no forever. They're saying no for right now. And you're planting a seed. Just like when I watched my coach, Danny, when she was at summit right after I had my daughter, she didn't know it, but she was planting seeds with me. And I started researching things. I started looking at things. So, and it took me three more months to say, yeah, let's do this. But it took some time. Um, Allison, you're next on my list across. So, um, I don't know, Amanda did pretty well. So I feel bad for the people coming after us. But um, <laughs> to me, and I tell my team this a lot, I am not a business savvy person. That's no secret. Um, I have success in this business, but I don't consider myself business savvy. Um, this is about relationships. And I think if you want people to be comfortable with you, um, then you have to remember that. And a lot of times, um, you need to be very aware how you're speaking with people when you invite them. And um, to me, I have more success offering myself and a service than offering a product. So that's always advice I give my team. Don't try not to push the product. Try to push the service. Um, because, you know, especially things like Facebook, people get on Facebook for relationships, not to buy something. People get on Amazon to buy something but not Facebook, right? So keep that in the back of your mind, you know? Um, I understand that you might be trying to make a sale, but for most people, that's not why they're there. You've got to bring them to you for a different reason, and then if they buy something for, from you, congratulations. But, um, you know, for me, it's about relationships, so I think that's important um, just to make sure that you are, um, you know, making those sort of, first and foremost, and then, you know, pushing beyond that. But I mean, success club. Yeah. Don't miss it. Hit it every time. And tr I always suggest do it as fast as you can. I try to do five by the fifth every month. And, um, you know, like Amanda says, it grows your business. It grows your team. It grows your pay. And for me, you know, um, and those of you, I know we've got a couple, you know, newer diamonds and people who are close to diamond. If you are leading any kind of team, I think it's so important to set that for them. You know, I mean, why am I hitting success, success club? Well, in the beginning, I probably didn't know what it was, but Kelly was doing it. So I was just doing what she was doing, right? She's not going to ask me to do something that she's not doing herself. And that's important, especially, like I said, for those of you who are looking to lead your own teams, you've got to set the bar for them and show them that it's doable and it's worth doing. And, you know, like I said, sometimes I'm probably not the best example because I do try to at least hit five right out of the gate and then really work on like training my team and guiding them and, you know, offering help to them throughout the month. But, um, Part of the nice thing about hitting success club is this, these are people with, you know, HD orders that are recurring. And I know I've said this before, but I've had weeks where Kelly's thrown her shout out up there and I'm like, whoa, look at that volume. It's like, you know, I'm in like the 500 plus and I'm like, did I sell anything this week? Nope. But that's my HD orders over and over and over that are coming through. And that's, you know, I have weeks of pay where I have had no commission and there's still very solid paychecks for a family because I've never missed success club any month. And so, you know, those of you who are doing this because you need a paycheck, this is where you get it. This is where your consistency comes and it, and it builds upon itself. So, um, I don't, I, I mean, I guess that would be my advice. Go for it. You know, make those relationships, see, you know, what people are needing from you really um, think about who your audience is and, and work those relationships. So 
I don't know who's next on her screen, but she's on the phone. So we can make Amy do it. <laughs> okay. I'll go. So um, just a few things that I do. Um, I always have this whiteboard of my people that I am constantly talking to. They say like 10. I have 14 on it right now um, that we're talking back and forth. It kind of keeps me straight. Um, and then once they become a challenger um, or a discount coach, they get to leave the board and they go on my challengers list. But um, it's just all about going through the process. And, um, you know, like Allison was saying, like, you know, it's not about a sale. It's, you know, about helping these people. And, you know, sometimes like to hit success club, like I missed it my first month by one point and I cried and I cried and I cried and I vowed after that, I was never going to let it happen again. And it hasn't happened. That's just my thing. And like Allison, I, my goal is always five, two by the fifth. And then I like to have 10 by the 10th um, now. And you'll see that your business will grow where before I sat there and I would think I will never be able to get five. How can I ever get five? And then it's like, I'll never be able to get 10. Oh, uh, um, wait a minute. I'm like knocking on the door of getting Justin the five and me to 20. So like, where is this all coming from? I, I don't know. Like, and Amanda had said like, how are you doing this? And like, I, I wanted to say to her, well, I show peep, they buy a challenge pack and sign up as a discount coach. I show them my boobs, but that's not really what happens. Um, it is like, I'm totally like being consistent with your posting. I mean, it is being um, just, you're at the end of the month and you're trying to do something, offer maybe an incentive. Yes. <laughs> Offer an incentive, maybe like a $20 gift card or I don't know, something that you'd think that person might be interested, you know, like if they're kind of on the fence. Um, pull out like all the stops. I mean, it, you know, you know these people that you've been talking to and if they're on the fence, you know, I don't want to say like hit them where it hurts, but like you got to talk to them. Like they need to be able to trust you and relate to you. And you need to be able to get inside of, get inside of them. <laughs> that sounds dirty, but like, I mean, inside of their hearts, <laughs> you know? Um, so one thing you can try to do is like offer a little incentive and just say, Hey, you know, I'm offering this or I mean, you know, I really want you in my group, do, do, do this and that. Um, Success Club is a non-negotiable for me. And um, yeah, that board really helps me to keep focused on those people. And I touch base with them um, even more so than like my challengers every day kind of thing. So I would say like the challenge, the incentives. Oh, oh, oh. And I know one more thing. Your challengers that might not be on Shakeology, you might not have it. And I know I, I was like this at first. I had a lot of problems getting people to buy challenge packs. They just wanted it without the challenge packs. Go to those challengers and offer them that discount for the Shakeology to get even more results with their programs that they're doing. So that's, those are my tips. Tips for May, Fab. Woohoo. There you go. Guys, I'm really sorry. That was my dryer repair guy. Our dryer's dead. <laughs> he was setting up a time to come tomorrow. I apologize. Um, real quick, what Allison was saying about um, being an example, I was literally typing the exact same thing so I could remember right before you said it, is by being on this call, by putting your time in, you guys are leaders. Believe it or not, you are leaders. I know you might not feel like it, but you are setting examples. And if you want your team to grow and you want your coaches to grow, you need to set the example for them. Just like Allison said, she didn't know really what success club was, but I was hitting it. So I'll be damned. She was going to hit it too. You know, she's like, well, I'm going to do what she's doing because it's working for her. Right. And really as new coaches, that's kind of what all your coaches do. So 
Um, yeah, so I just, same wavelength. Okay, um, Vicky. Now, Vicky's a really good example of, um, Vicky had a really great run going, like amazing, and then she went back to work and her world got rocked. And she made this phenomenal comeback. So it's really cool to hear Vicky talk about how she did it originally and then how she did it again. Um, well, that's kind of what I was going to say. So. Sorry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, well, I mean, kind of. Um, so what I was going to say is I also didn't know why I was hitting Success Club. Um, I didn't coach for four months, and every month I was like, yeah, Kelly, I'm going to do it, and then, like, ignored her. And then would come back and be like, yeah, I promise. And then ignored her again. I just kept doing that until finally the fix came out. And um, she was like, oh, my gosh, just do it. And she put me in Team Cup. And I was like, okay, well, now I'm on, like, this competition. I can't, like, fail, you know. And um, I hit Success Club 26 that first month of even doing anything. Uh, I think I signed up four coaches that month. No clue what any of that meant, only because somebody else was telling me to do it. But I rank advanced. I started getting leads. I started getting um, so rank advanced leads, and um, this team just started building underneath me. So that was in February, um, and then in March I hit Success Club again. And Jason and I had this heart to heart, and we're like, okay, so maybe this is real. Like maybe I can actually do something with this. Kelly convinced me to go to Summit, so I was like, all right, well, I guess I'm going to Summit. Um, and so we just, I mean, just kind of started rolling together. Well, I watched this call, um, Kendra Fletcher did. If you don't know who she is, look her up on Facebook. She is one of the most genuine people out there and she's wonderful. And Scotty Hobbs is her coach, her upline. And I just, I watched one of the calls that she did for, um, the bombshell dynasty and her thing was, if you want to be full-time, she asked her coach, she's like, I want to be full-time. I don't, I only want to coach. I want to quit my job and I want to do it in like a year. How do I do that? His advice was hit success club 10 every month. Everything else will happen. I'll help you with everything else. Hit success club 10. I promise she quit her job in a year full-time, probably like tripled her income. I don't know. She's one of Scotty's coaches. So who knows what secret gold dust he's sprinkling on his coaches. But um, like that hit, that hit me. I hit success club 10 every single month for a good while until, um, I don't remember what happened. Was it seven months? And then, um, I went back to work in August. Stupid, but I did. Um, and I just kind of had to prove to myself that I was done teaching, I guess. I don't know why I needed to get back. Finances were hard and it felt like that was my only option. So I felt stuck and trapped and I didn't believe in myself enough that I could make this work. Um, went there kind of like faded into the background and stuff. I really didn't sell anything. Went to Denver for the first leadership retreat. And after hanging out with everybody and talking and stuff, hit success club there, like just working there and hit success club there. And I was like, yes, I can do this again. September, I think I hit success club two. Um, November, I did Jack. In December, I also did Jack squat. However, I had a little wake up call from um, my dear friend, Allison, and kind of kicked my butt back into gear. And so January, I was like, all right, I'm just going all in. Like I made a little checklist, which I want to say I've uploaded in the files, um, but I can, pop it back up again. But I kid you not, I only did, I think a handful of things. I messaged a coach, um, on my downline to get them going again. I messaged a challenger. I formed with one, and this is one person a day. Like I didn't do the power of three. I didn't go crazy. I did what I could do. Cause I literally had one hour to work every day. I was working 13 hour days because I had an hour commute. Um, and I posted on Facebook, posted in the team page, and I did something else. I can't remember something. Hit Success Club in January. Hit six, I've hit six club, Success Club every single month since then. I got back to Diamond in a month. Um, I grew this team like crazy. Here's Caitlin. Praise Jesus for Caitlin being on my downline. Um, and it's just, I mean, things have grown drastically from there literally because of his success club. 
that is the only reason that this snowball effect happened. And that's really what it is. It's a snowball effect. Like Amy said, how am I going to hit success club five? And then you hit it. And then it's like, well, crap, how am I going to do 10? And then you hit it. And it's like, well, crap, how am I going to hit a hundred? Oh, it's done. But like, you know, it just goes. And if you want this business, you know, we all have different goals. Like I'm looking at all these faces and some of you fit your faces I've not seen before. Um, so I know some goals are full time. Amanda and I, and we are like neck and neck. Like we, this has to happen for us this summer. Like her position's gone with teaching. I'll be damned if I go back to teaching because my family life was just horrible when I was teaching. It was way too hard on us. Um, this has to happen. And you know, whatever your goals are, success club is just how it happens. You hit success club five, boom, your psychology is paid for. If that's your goal, hitting success club makes it happen. You know, if you want to go on vacation, hit success club five every single month and you save money and then you're going on vacation. I mean, it doesn't matter what your goals are. Success club is what gets you there. If your goal is to build a team, where do the best coaches come from? They're challengers. They've been there. They've seen a group and they've fallen in love with the system that Beachbody has created. Not the products themselves, though they love them, but they fell in love with the way this works with this whole aspect of encouraging each other. And I mean, like literally coaching, like we are therapists. A lot of times I feel like we're counselors. People tell us stuff that they don't tell their best friends. I have inbox messages to prove it stuff that I don't know why I know, but I know it because of this support system that we have for people because we care. And, you know, I think our team is also, I know there's other teams that are great, but our team is just one of the better ones. And, you know, we're truly family here. And um, I think everybody kind of sees that when they come into a group here. And so it all starts with success club. I mean, that is just so, so important. So just think back at what your goals are. Is it a discount? You know, great. Your psychology can be paid for. Is it to get a vacation? Wendy took her family to Disney. Okay. Success club. Is it to quit your job and have freedom? And you know, this is what you do. Go for success club 10, because that's where you're going to get your income. That's where you're going to start seeing people wanting to coach. People are going to fall in love with what we're doing. And I mean, that's just where it happens. And, you know, like Kelly said, with me hitting hard and doing a lot of stuff and then falling away, the only difference is the consistency with pulling in challengers and then helping those challengers become coaches. Success Club, is that's why it's so important because it encompasses everything, everything with our business, everything. That's all. <laughs> Yay, Vicki. Vicki just like – her story just warms my heart when she talks about it. Cause she was like, that's close to quitting. And that would have been a travesty. Um, okay. So there's like, okay, Michelle, Kelly, Ann, Bethany, do you guys want to talk? Michelle says no. Kelly, Ann. Yes. No, doesn't matter. I'm leaving it open. Bethany. Yes. No. Kate, I'm making Caitlin talk. She has literally been at Success Club 10 every freaking month since she signed up. Every month. I don't know many other. I don't. That's. Okay. So, Spill, how do you do that shit? Sorry, I had to unmute myself. Um, okay, I'm tangled. Okay, I'm good. Sorry. Um, I don't know how I do it every month. I mean, I know. I'm encouraging and I just talk to people all the time. Like even before I did beach body, I was talking to people all the time. Like I just randomly message people and be like, Hey, I'm going to talk to you in like six months. How are you? How are you? Like, how is your family? How are your kids? They're freaking adorable, you know? And I feel like since I was friendly with people before doing beach body, it just kind of moved in, I guess. And then, um, I knew when I, I knew when I started, I wanted to be able to pay for things that I wanted, I guess kind of sounds selfish, but as a, as a stay at home mom, you kind of fall into this thing where it's like, you feel like you feel like you're taking away from your family with the things that you want. So like, I'd be like, Oh, I want to go get my nails done. And then I'm like, 
well, I'm pretty sure my kids want that Jake and the Neverland Pirates toy too. So I'm not going to do that. And I feel like I was like, I want to be able to do something for me and not have to take money away from my family. So I knew that I wanted Shakeology, first of all, because Vicky always talks about how amazing it is. And she sent me samples and I like, I took the samples and I cut them in like fourths so that they could last me longer than a week. <laughs> I was like, so the samples you sent me lasted like 30 days. She's like, I sent you seven scoops, maybe. <laughs> so, so I knew I wanted to do the Shakeology. So I knew um, I wasn't going to be taking money from my household to pay for that. So I knew I had to hit Success Club 5 because Vicky broke it down and was like, if you sell three challenge packs, your Shakeology is almost completely paid for. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I got to sell four to be completely paid for and my coaching fee because like I said, I'm not, I don't want to take, cause we have, you know, we budget. So we're very specific with the things that we buy. Like we spend $352 on groceries. Like that's how budgeted we are. So I was like, yeah, when you break it down monthly, it, I mean, when you break it down to the daily cost, it's not that much, but it's still not going to come out of my grocery money. So, oh, thank you. Um, so I knew, I knew I, oh, they're hot. <laughs> they just came Sorry, out guys. the oven and they have cayenne pepper. Uh, cayenne pepper. Okay. I knew I wanted to pay for my Shakeology. And I knew I wanted the coaching fee covered. So I knew I had to sell at least four. And every month it's like a new person is messaging me at the beginning of the month and is like, hey, how are you doing this? And it's not just one people. It's like three or four people at the beginning of the month, like that I guess payday. And they're like, hey, <laughs> let's do this now before I don't have the money anymore. Um, a tip that I do, I say, I talk about this all the time, but I go on my events and I find out whose birthday it is <laughs> and I message them and I tell them happy birthday and um, ask them if they have any fun plans for the day, what they're going to be doing. And almost always they bring up treats and cake and food and how they don't want to overindulge. And then somehow that just turns around to, I need to get on your level. I need to be fit like you. I need to get my eating under control. And I just talk to them about their goals and what they want and how they want to do it. And then talk to them about if they want to be in free groups or what, what exactly they're looking for. And that's just been working for me. <laughs> I kind of ramble. A no, that's bit. okay. That was all good information. Um, it's not often, I mean. Oh, whoa, <sighs> get your own sweet potatoes, lady. Hey. <laughs> all them up late and stuff. Um, tell Benny I love him. I love him so much. Jesus. And I love that you snorted again. Just had to unmute myself. Please tell him. <laughs> Thank you so much. She loves you. Oh, oh did you hear me? <laughs> we can hear you. Uh, well. We might as well see you too. Say it's hello. Okay. No sweet potatoes. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> sweet potatoes. Get some. You know you want some. I'm so sorry, guys. You keep trying to eat them, but it has like tons of pepper on it. It does. It's really hot. You're okay. Go eat your potatoes and I'll mute you again. <laughs> so um, you guys have some really solid tips. Hopefully you understand that it's making and maintaining relationships with people. The three months out of my almost 36 that I've been coaching that I didn't hit success club, all I can tell you is my energy level and my drive to do this business went way down because I was like, oh man, I suck at this. I can't even help people. Nobody wants me to help them. But then I would pick myself up off the ground, grab myself by the nape of my neck, kick myself in the butt and say, you know what? I've got this. I can do this. I know how awesome this stuff is. You have to show people the value of Shakeology. Something I love about Caitlin, if you, I want you guys to go and take a look at her page, her Facebook wall, and I want you to see how well she shares. She's always posting pictures of her kids, which draws in that young mommy crowd for her. She's posting things about they do. She's always showing that she's a product of the product, like with her ultimate reset pictures. If you guys can do that, 
people are going to message you. Now, along those lines, eventually, that warm market's gonna dry up a little bit. So make sure that you're running free groups because free groups are gonna bring in your friends. And then you say, hey guys, make sure you invite all of your friends. So then you become friends with them on Facebook and your network grows. And then they start seeing you and they know what you have to offer. So free groups are really the key. Keep it to a week or two, just something short, something easy, and you'll be good to go. Um, does anybody have any questions about Success Club or maybe how to hit Success Club? I'm assuming, this is me assuming, you know what happens when you assume, ass out of you and me. But <laughs> does anybody have a question about hitting Success Club or how to do it or anything like that? No? No? Okay, cool. Um, well, that was mainly what I wanted to talk about tonight. Thank you, leaders, for speaking. <laughs> I kind of threw you under the, uh, under the bus. Um, yeah, who, who is going to make it happen? Who is dedicated? Absolutely. I am going to hit Success Club. I don't care what it takes. I'm going to make it happen this month. I don't care. It will happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice, Amanda. Your mom. Um, Okay, good. Well, I hope you guys do. Angela, I can't see yours, so I don't know what you're at this month because you're not in my direct downline. You're at two. You can make it happen. You can make it happen. I know you can. Um, I always keep some people in my back pocket, like um, my stepmom has never bought a challenge pack. <laughs> and I just keep some people back there just in case. My last just in case that I had to ever do was back in December. I used my sister as a just in case. And then on December 31st, and then the very, because she had wanted the refresh anyway. So I was like, all right, it's time for you to buy the refresh. And she bought it. Um, but then in January, I had Success Club 7 by the 2nd of January because I had started so many conversations with people and it wasn't pushing them. I was just saying, hey, how are you doing? How was your Christmas? How was your New Year's? You know, by that point, I was saying, how was your New Year's? Um, and, you know, oh my gosh, kids are so cute. Because if someone messages you and tells you your kids are cute, you're going to start talking to them because you know that your children are like the love of your life. It's just, you just, heck, someone says, oh, your boxers are so cute. I'm like, yeah, I love them. Don't you just love my drooly, big old ugly dogs? It's a face only a mommy can do. Um, so, you know, just be genuine. Ah, leads have been buying challenge packs. Yeah, that's a good point. Amanda um, logged into her back office and she was like, sweet, I'm at Success Club 5. And I can't tell you how many times that's happened to me where I'm at like four and all of a sudden I log in one day and I'm at six and I'm like, holy crap, how'd that happen? One of my free leads bought a challenge pack, just randomly bought a challenge pack and it will happen. It will happen. And then once you get diamond, you qualify for your diamond leads, which are basically new coach leads. And then they buy challenge packs and you're like, oh, look, all these free points. It's amazing. And it's great. Um, I get a lot of my, my success club points from signing up coaches, not just from challenge groups. That's where a lot of my coaches come from or my points. But anyways, guys, I'm not going to keep you any longer. I've kept you for 55, 50 minutes. Thank you so much for spending your evening with us. If you have any questions, ask it in the team page, shoot me a message, shoot anybody a message. We're here to help and let's uh, blow some shit up. What do you think? Yeah. Sorry. I like to swear. All right. Bye guys. Have a great night. Thank you.